Good morning, everyone. And hello, kids. Uh, and hello to all the viewers who are watching online. Welcome to um, Sunday School. And we're so glad that you're able to join us today. And I hope that everyone is having a productive summer, maybe. Um, who here is in summer school? Anyone here in summer school? Don't, don't be ashamed. I had summer school when I was younger. <laughs> yeah? Who is not doing any schooling right now? No? Everyone? That should be everyone else, right? All the teachers, right? All the teachers, raise your hand. All right. Uh, who misses school? Anyone here miss school? Oh, man. Teachers, any of you? <laughs> no? <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah? All right. Very good. We're, we're glad that you're here this morning. And thank you so much for being here. Um, who's tired? Anyone here tired? <laughs> Sleepy? All right. Very good. All right. So this is what I want you to do really quickly before we begin, all right? I want you, everyone, to stand up at your seats. Just stand up at where you are. Don't, don't move around outside of the little box. But stand up. Just stand up where you are. Everyone, stand up, stand up, stand up. I want you to put your left hand, raise your left hand up. Your left hand, left hand. All right? If you don't know where your left hand, just put an L. That's your left. <laughs> all right? L, that means left, right? Raise it all the way up, guys. Raise it all the way up. Very good. And then raise your right hand up. Both of them, so both hands should be up. Now touch the sky. Make sure you guys are awake a little bit. Very good, very good, very good. All right. All right, you may sit down. I just want to make sure <laughs> just to make sure get a little bit of blood flowing in you. Before we begin, all right, why don't we pray? Let's open in a word of prayer, and then we'll get started, okay? So let's all bow our heads, close our eyes, and then we'll pray, all right? So no more talking. Eyes closed. All right. Here we go. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you so much for this beautiful Sunday morning you've given to us. Thank you so much for all the kids who are able to join us uh, today for our service, Lord. And I pray that you'll watch over us as we get ready to uh, listen to, uh, to the lesson that's going to be given in just a few moments. And we thank you so much for all the kids, Lord, that are, are here. And we're so excited to see them. And it's been uh, so long since the last time we've seen them. And we thank you so much for their uh, faithfulness and their excitement and that they're here and that we get to see them uh, in person and we thank you so much for all you're going to say and do lord may you just watch over us during this time and give us a great day in your house in your name i pray amen all right very good for right now we're gonna have miss uh, miss hannah uh, she's gonna come lead us in a couple of songs and we're gonna uh, get you guys kind of going all right okay let's stand up and our first song is gonna be lord's army Okay, since yesterday was, what was yesterday? Fourth of July. July. <laughs> hmm, let's see, we might need a history lesson, but, okay, let's have everyone stand up. Everyone stand up. And if you don't know the motions, you can just follow after me, okay? Okay, ready? One, two, three. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, boys and girls and our next song is going to be um praise ye the lord so does anyone remember this song no. remember that we have two sides so let's see let's have this side be the first side so you guys are going to sing hallelujah 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 and then we're going to have this side sing praise ye the lord okay so let's all start off with sitting down and then when it's your turn you're going to stand up and sing your part, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Stand up. One, two, three. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Sit down and then praise ye the Lord. Okay, sit down. Stand up. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah.
Okay, we're gonna sing that one more time. Now we're gonna switch sides, okay? So the side who's saying, um, praise you the Lord, is gonna sing hallelujah now. And then this side's gonna sing, um, praise you the Lord. Okay, <laughs> ready? One, two, three. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Really quickly before we have our lesson, let me just play a quick game just to kind of get you guys going, all right? So does anyone here know the game Simon Says? Raise your hand if you know what the game Simon Says, right? Who here does, has never played Simon Says before? All right, very good. So instead of Simon, do you know that in the, in the Bible, there's a, someone called Simon Peter, Right? So my name is Mr. Peter, so instead of Simon, we're going to say Ms. Peter says, all right? So what I say, all right? So really quickly, here, this is how we're going to do it, okay? So when I say Peter says this blank that you're supposed to do, you're going to do it. If I don't say my name, you're not supposed to do it, right? So, you know, Mr. P or Peter says, close your eyes, right? So everyone's supposed to close their eyes. And then when I, if I say open your eyes, you're not supposed to open your eyes, all right? Um, unless I tell you to do so. Okay, here we go. Ready? This is what we're going to do. Okay, here we go. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. All right. So everyone, all eyes up here. All right. Pay attention. And then we're going to get going really fast. All right. Here we go. Ready? All right. I'm not going to say Mr. Peter because that's just too much oxygen for me. <laughs> all right. So here we go. Ready? Peter says. All right. Here we go. Ready? Peter says, stand up. Peter says, sit down. Peter says, raise your left hand up. Peter says, raise your right hand up. Put them down. Oh, all right, very good. Now, Peter says, stand up. Peter says, put your, touch your left ear. <laughs> Some of you are like, oh, which one? All right, uh, Peter says, touch your right ear. Very good. Peter says, put both hands down. Very good. Peter says, sit down. Peter says, stand up. Peter says, sit down. Peter says, stand up. Sit down. <laughs> Very good. All right, here we go. Ready? Raise your left foot out. All right. Out. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. Right? Uh, Peter says, sit down. All right. Now Peter says, stick your arms out. All right, stick your arms out. Put them down. Ooh, out. <laughs> Very good. All right. Peter says, stand up. Peter says, hop on one foot. One time. Very good. Peter says, hop on the other foot one more time. All right. Now hop all together. All right. All the hops sit down. <laughs> Very good. All right. Here we go. Ready? Peter says, sit down. All right. Stand up. Peter says, stand up. Peter says, stick your right hand out. Now your left hand. Maybe you're out. <laughs> all right. Very good. Now Peter says, sit down. All right. Peter says, touch your head. Peter says, now touch, use your other hand, touch your belly. Now move it around. You're out. <laughs> Very good. Now, Peter says, stand up. All right. Peter says, touch your left ear. Or just touch, uh, Peter says, touch both ears. Touch both ears. Very good. Now, now Peter says, touch your elbow. Touch your elbow. You can use one hand, touch your elbow. Very good. You can now, Peter says, sit down. All right, Peter says, stand up. Peter says, hop. Very good. Now Peter says, sit down. Stick your left foot out. Okay, very good. Now raise your right hand. All right, you're out. <laughs> very good. All right, now Peter says, stand up. So I want to see who else is left over. Very good. Almost all the boys, basically. Our boys win. All right. <laughs> you may sit down. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> Good job, boys. Uh, you won this round. Maybe in the future we can play another game. That will just kind of get you guys warm up a little bit. Mr. James is going to be our 
our, our teacher for today who's going to give us the lesson. So who brought their Bibles out? If you brought your Bibles, raise it up right now. If you brought your Bibles, raise it up, raise it up. Very good. I hope you can bring your memory to make sure you bring your Bibles every Sunday. We're not going to be providing Bibles just because we don't want uh, uh, too many people touching it. So if you didn't bring your Bible, no worries. Uh, in the future, just make sure you remember to bring it. Um, and listen, Mr. James will uh, say the verses. So just listen and pay attention. And so very good. Uh, Mr. James is going to come right now. So I want you guys to give your undivided attention. So all eyes up here. Let's all sit up straight on our chair. So everyone sit up. No slouching. All right, everyone? Very good, very good. All right, so now I want you to give all your ear and attention to Mr. James, okay? Hi, everyone. Wow, it's great to see every single one of you guys. It's been a while since I've... I've uh, been up here and been in church, and I'm glad to see everyone here today. So this past week, we've been talking about the Word of God. And last week, can anyone tell me what the Word of God as what item? I'm going to pick someone. Go ahead. The Word of God as a mirror. And today, I brought some items today. Right here. Before I bring them out... I'm going to ask you guys a question. How many of you guys have ever gotten a cough or a cold? Have you ever got a cough? Raise your hand. Just raise your hand. How many people have gotten a cold? Raise your hand. How many people have ever gotten a fever? Or how, how, about this? how, how many people have gotten sick? Everyone should be having their hands raised right now. Everyone should have been sick at one time. So I brought these things today. I don't know if you guys know this. I have this right here. Raise your hand if you know what this is. Okay, so this is actually Chinese cough syrup, okay? This is Chinese cough syrup. I had this when I was younger. I have this right here. I also have this. You might not know this so, so much, but this is for colds. So this, this is a box of medicine for colds. And this is actually what I take. Uh, I take one a day. So this is one a day vitamins that I take for my health. And to ask you guys, what is all three of them have in common? Can anyone guess what have all of these in common? Go ahead. They all help you get better. So every single one of these, some of them are pills, some of them are vitamins. They are for your health. So today, I'm going to talk about the Word of God um, as medicine for your life today. So everyone, I want you guys to open up your Bibles. The teachers around you will help you out. Um, so go to Proverbs 4.20. Go to Proverbs 4.20. The teachers around you will help you out. Proverbs 4.20. I'll give you some time. Even the viewers online, I'll give you some time to look up Proverbs 4.20. It's in the Old Testament, in the middle of the Old Testament, right after Psalms. I'll give you guys a little more time. And then I'll read it right in front of you guys. It gives you guys a little more time. You guys can do it. You guys can do it. Okay, so if you guys are here with me, um, I want you guys to look at your Bibles at Proverbs 420. I'll read it out loud for you guys. Okay, one, two, three. My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ears unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Okay, before we start, I, I want to get in a word of prayer. Everyone close your eyes, heads down, eyes closed. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this day, Lord. And I thank you for the word of God that we have in front of us. I thank you that it's a medicine for our souls, for our life, that it gives us life telling us about heaven on earth. I pray, Lord, that you be with us today. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so the beginning of this verse, it says, attend to my word, incline thy ears unto my saying. So it's saying that he want, God wants you to keep his word with, with you and to, for you to listen carefully, okay? So God wants you to keep his word with you, okay? And, and when you think of that, um, to keep God's word, you, you want to recognize what 
the Bible is. And we're talking about the Bible as medicine. Okay. So if, if I say the Bible as medicine, so we have this medicine right here. Okay. So we have, I'll show you this, these two right here. We have this right here, which is uh, for cough and this for cold. I want you guys to raise your hand. If you had a cough, would you, what, sorry, if you have a cold, would you take this, the cough medicine? Raise your hand. Or would you take a cold medicine? Raise your hand. Yes, you would take the cold medicine. Same thing, uh, the reverse, right? If you had a uh, cough, you would take the cough medicine and not the cold. Okay. Same thing with our life. So we're saying this is, this is also a type of medicine, but this medicine is for our lives. So, we, so the Bible is saying that God wants us to keep the, our, the, his word as our medicine in our life. So when we, when we have troubles, when we do things, we should always keep, use the word as the first thing for our lives, okay? So the, the Bible also talks about the, our, our health. So we're, we're talking about our health. So what are some things that is better our health is sin, okay? And can someone tell me what is sin? Can someone raise their hand? What is sin? I'll get someone different. Go ahead, Emmett. Say again? Yeah, when you, so sin is when you do bad things against God, okay? So that could be lying, that could be stealing, that could be even having bad things, mean thing, thoughts about people, or, or having anger to someone. So all of these are sins. And God is saying that this Bible is the cure that will help us um, when we're, we're struggling with sins. And in, in the Bible, it, it talks about someone that can wash away our sins, for our sins to, to, uh, to be washed away. So the first thing that we should recognize, first thing I'm trying to talk about today, is recognize the Word of God is medicine to our lives. We have to recognize where God is medicine lives. We don't want to go, when we're sad, when we're angry, we don't want to go to video games, or we don't want to, to ask our friends what's the best thing to do when we're angry or sad. We want to go to the Bible. We want to go to the Bible. So the first thing we have to recognize is the Bible is medicine for our lives. Okay. The second thing I want to talk about. Earlier I said attend to my words. So we, we want to keep the Bible in, when we listen to it. And it also says that let not depart from thy eyes, keep them in the midst of thy heart. So it's saying that you don't want to keep the Bible far away from you. And you want to keep it cl as close to your heart. I want, when I was a little kid, I used to have um, a stuffed animal. And when I, you know, I always, because I love that stuff, I wanted to keep it as close to me as possible. So I always kept, like to hug it, I would like to keep it closer to me in my heart. And you're asking, Mr. James, how do, uh, because this is medicine, how do we keep it close to our heart? Okay, how do we keep the Bible as medicine close to our heart? So there's three things I, I, uh, that we know. So the first thing that we always mention is that we for, for should always read the Bible. We should read the Bible daily. To keep something, to know, know about what's in the Bible, we should read the Bible. That's the only way we can know what it says in the Bible. Second thing, we always ask, mention it to ask you guys to do is to memorize the, the Bible also. So, you know, after this lesson, we're probably going to go over a memory verse, and we're going to have you recite it and to memorize it. And sometimes, later on in the week, we might ask you, hey, can you recite it to me? Can you tell me what it says? Right? And sometimes um, we memorize it to, to, to uh, remember these words. So first thing I said to, to keep it in your heart is to read it. Second thing to keep in your heart is to memorize it. Third, in the Bible, it says in these words that we should meditate on, on the Word of God. Meditate means that, what does meditate mean, Mr. James? It says we have to think about it. So later on, after this class, after you memorize a verse, every so often, like when you're in school, you want to think about what you were reading. 
You want to think about the words that you memorized. It's good to think about it. Maybe if you're at home, maybe with, if you're with your family, with your friends, maybe when you're playing video games, sometimes it's, you want to think about it again. Maybe you want to even open up your Bible again. It's like, what was the thing I memorized? What does it mean? So third thing is to meditate on the word, to, to think about it in your heart. And la- so last, last part of this verse, it says, for they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. It is saying that the word of God is life to us, and it, it keeps, keeps us healthy, okay? So the word of God keeps us healthy and is, and, and is for our life. So when you look at, what, so who wants to be healthy? Raise your hand, who wants to stay healthy? Okay. And, how, and like I said, how many raise their hands? How many people have been sick, right? So the, the Bible keeps us healthy. So it tells us things to prevent us from doing sins. Because when we have sin in our life, it doesn't keep us healthy. It, it makes us sick, it makes us worse. So the Bible tells us things how to keep us from doing sin. And it tells how you can wash away that sin. In that verse, it says, for they are alive to those that find them. So this is a life, um, a life of heaven. So the Bible talks about death and life. And when they talk about death, they, that means because that we sin, that we were, we we're meant to go to hell. But God doesn't want anyone to go to hell. So he, he did something he sent Jesus Christ on the cross for our sins. And this is all written in the Bible. And because of what Jesus Christ did on the cross, that our sins are washed away. Jesus Christ died, buried, resurrected for me and you. That all we have to do is accept him as a Lord and Savior. And and one day we will be in heaven on earth with, with God. I would want everyone to think about that today. I want about heaven on earth, about the word of God being our medicine in our lives. Everyone heads down, close your eyes. I have a question for each one of you today. I have a question for each one of you today. If you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior before and want to know more about what he did on the cross, can you please raise your hand? I would like to know more about what Jesus Christ did on the cross for me and how I can go to heaven. Please raise your hand. Thank you for raising your hand. Put your hands down. I have another question. Like I said, the Word of God is our medicine to our lives. It keeps us healthy. How many of you guys want to be healthy and have that medicine in our lives? Can you please raise your hand? How many people want to have the medicine of the Word of God in their life? Want to to use it, to memorize, to keep it, so God can keep you healthy? Please raise your hand. Thank you. Put your hands down. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful day, Lord. I thank you for just being under your house. I thank you for all these boys and girls here listening intently. We love you, Lord, in all you do. In Jesus' name, amen.